literally, uh, literally like popped off in the last match. Uh, and then a great comeback as well. So I'm sure he's running with a lot of momentum right now. Uh, but he is going up against Taros. And Taros can sometimes overwhelm you with a couple of like with three or four hits and you're already in red. So we'll see what happens. See what now, happens we have we seen this before. before. Uh, one of the most notable times was in Winter Championship 2020. That was sort of when Stingray came on everyone's radar. I think he might have been on a lot of top players' radar from just going up against him in ranked and maybe in other tournaments. But really on, like, the fans' radar, all of a sudden, Winter Championship 2020, in that, uh, Sandstorm ended up getting fifth. Stingray placed really well. And actually, Stingray ended up winning that set that they had previously so this is maybe a little bit of a run back from earlier in this year we'll see if stingray playing on the taros this time and uh, sandstorm playing on the knicks will have a different outcome gc side signature get back to the platform gonna find priority against stingray's signature here we go stingray give us a couple give us a couple kicks right there oh almost got that as well i think if he held that he actually might have been able to get that hit uh, unless Sandstorm was going to have uh, jump away, but it doesn't matter. Finds uh, the down stick and drags that man straight off the top. Great start here for Stingray. Yeah, he couldn't find it on the axe, and he didn't want to press any different buttons, so he just went ahead and picked up the hammer, tried out the desync on that, swiping both sides. And he found the KO. Not a huge lead that he has right now. He has some solid damage, but that could be taken away very quickly. Nice three, four piece, and the weapon toss. Is he going to finish this up here? Where's the downer? Oh, just goes for the gravity cancel side light. Yeah, I thought maybe the gravity cancel down light. I'm not sure if he would have to reach for it, but if he did, that was yeah, definitely going to be the KO. <laughs> Doesn't matter, though. He's starting out. <laughs> Game one, starting out strong, throws out some scissors. Maybe he throws out scissors because you hold up two fingers for the two stock lead that he has right now against Sandstorm. Wanting to just yeah, cut all be. momentum that Sandstorm has going into this. He might be telling him, Peace, you about to be out of this winner side of things as well, because he is definitely running over Sandstorm in this first game. Now, again, though, we have seen some crazy comebacks from Sandstorm, but I'm not sure if I can bet on it this time around. At least not yet. It is a little too early for me to think about it, but let's see. You know, Sandstorm, last stock Sandstorm may hit a little different. Yeah, and this is definitely like a, a game one possibility from a player like Sandstorm, who is definitely arguably the better player here. Multiple time world champion, uh, probably the best player to ever pick up the sticks. So game one against a player that he might not necessarily have the most experience against, like game one can be anything, man. Game one can go so many wild different directions and have like basically no outcome off the, on the set. But also game one can be the direct tell of the rest of the set. So we really don't even know, even if Sandstorm takes this who knows what's going to go on in the rest of these games sandstorm again though just looking almost exactly like the uh the game that he did make this comeback just a solid stock here don't even think he took a hit yet on that entire stock all right hold on bro he, he has to continue to play like that bro. Oh, he's starting it he's got to be so careful though you're playing against a high strength taros with an additional point in strength all he needs is like 80% of the moves in Hammer's kit will KO. Oh, Stop still living. Here. Is the weapon going to come out or does he want to control it? I think right, he's, now he's going to keep his weapon for some time. Oh, no. Down here. That's going to be the KO. That was, almost, that was almost scary, though. Sandstorm did. I mean, he, he had to bring those damage numbers to, like, yeah, 573 to 543. When, by the time he got to that last stock, there's no way he had more than like 200 damage. There's no way. Like, <laughs> and then he brought all that damage back and almost the whole game too. But luckily for uh, Stingray, he was able to find that down air and bring him off the top. However, though, Stingray, you got to be thinking about that. The fact that it is, it is a little hard to close out games against Sandstorm today. Yeah, that last stock was scary. Stingray spawned and all of a sudden in the blink of an eye, Sandstorm put out 50 plus damage. He's already put out now 50 plus damage in this game. Less than 10 seconds. All right, man. You see him looking for his way. Oh, good job. Okay, getting all the sigs in here. Speaking of scooped up, man, I, I, that's, Sandstorm is making that look true, man. I'm, you yeah, know, you like might have that's to every time you find out. It now, <laughs> every time he hits it now, I'm thinking, wait, is it true? He's hitting it so <laughs> consistently. I'm gonna need someone to, to tell me on Twitter. Please, oh. please tell me on Twitter and who is Sparky if that's true or not. And show me like proof of it. All right. 
here we are. Sandstorm gonna go ahead and throw those. Oh, jump directly into that neutral sig and gets dragged off of this map and into the blast zone. Goodbye. The chat says in two frames. Yeah. Oh wait, so. Twitch chat said well look, I, I don't who said in Twitch chat? Uh, <laughs> I missed it, bro. <laughs> All right. That's fair, that's fair, that's fair. All right, here we go. All right, it's head, one to two frames. Okay. But still, like, you think about how many one frame options there are in the game that people regularly dock. I don't know how he did it. So maybe he just nails it every time. I'm not sure. I'll have to pay closer attention to that point. That it's just crazy. Yeah, you get quite a bit of these, uh, these neutral lights, too. I mean, like, that's. Did most of his damage. I'm, you, I'm used to seeing obviously cr a crazy amount of down lights, but he's got quite a quite a few neutral lights to go ahead and rack up some of that damage. Oh, where were you going to go? Beautiful. Where were you going to go? Wow. All right. I know my, my eyes were off the weapon toss. He, he would have tricked me there. He tricked Stingray there. I bet he would have tricked 99.999% of which chat. Oh, yeah, the I, I, of I, I definitely got hit by the same thing, man. That was a great weapon toss, but either way, finds himself the NSIG, and this is uh, looking, looking all right. I'm saying it's not looking too bad yet. Uh, Stingray having it this equal in game two, uh, this is looking fantastic for him. Already has Sandstorm in the orange. Could be even up very quickly. Stingray's playing really well, though. We haven't seen him fall prey to too many sites. Like he's definitely been hit by some, but not a lot. Ooh, Sandstorm. You saw him change his in-air movement once that weapon toss came out. Stingray takes game two. Now up in this set 2-0. Wait a minute, bro. What did y'all say Stingray said? Start from the winning tournament. He said, all right, bet. I mean, he is proving <laughs> the pop right, true. Bet. Check the bracket when you wake up and then uh, some not PG words. This is looking good. This is looking good for Stingray, but not looking good for Sandstorm. He's going to bring it right back to the Knicks. Hopefully this Knicks will uh, be able to bring it to the table, or we will see a 3-0 over what is arguably the best Brawlhalla player right now. I mean, he's if not the best, he's definitely made quite a bit of winnings to say such. Stingray, man, he called his shot early, too. That was like winner's round one of top 32. After he beat Wrench, he called his shot. Right. Nice. Oh, that's nice. gonna be bad. For Got the dodge there. Stingray chose to dodge back in and was punished by Sandstorm immediately. Hold on. Stingray. Gonna get back to stage. Weapon toss yet again. I'm loving the uses of the weapon tosses from uh from Sandstorm. It keeps doing a little a little misdirection. That first one going straight up and then he threw the second one down. Covering so many angles at once. Now we're kind of seeing from Sandstorm what we saw between Sandstorm and Pugsy earlier, where Pugsy took the first two games and it was looking like he might take the set, and then all of a sudden, three games in a row, the reverse three came out from Sandstorm and he closed it out. This is starting to look pretty confident for Sandstorm all of a sudden here in game three. Okay. Nice. Sent him real easy. Oh, you see him kind of punish, able to right jump now. out of that. Stingray being very careful. Seems like he's valuing stage control above all else. Wants to stay right in the middle of the stage, far away from those blast zones as he possibly can. Easy cleanup for Sandstorm there. You can hit that true. I don't think he hit it true there, but you can hit there into there true. Yeah. All right. Well, either way, man, Sandstorm able to get himself uh, a lead for the first time in this set. One that might, I might be able to uh, stick, but taking a lot of dip. Never mind. Good Lord. Oh man, Sandstorm getting taken out in like, in like basically just regular orange, not even like deep orange. Played a dangerous game too close to that edge. 
That Stingray, you see him, man. He puts that extra point into strength. He knows he's playing Taros. Doesn't try to be a quick boy. Doesn't try to be a high dex boy. Doesn't try to be a high defense boy. He knows he is good for one thing, and that is swinging. Side light, in light. Interesting choice from Stingray, though. Must have just missed the input on the side light nair. Alright, man, so pretty even game right. Oh! Don't bet like that. Easy punish right there for Taros. Nice spot dodge. Gonna utilize all the 20 frames of that spot dodge that he possibly could to get through the recovery from Sandstorm. Oh, yeah, a lot of dancing being done right here. No, no one want, wanting to be the first person to whiff to take that punish, but nice, Sandstorm. Finding his way around those oh, weapons. Uh... Sandstorm just, he stayed at the perfect level of Stingray. Towards the end there, he hit like a side air and then stayed at the perfect level with Stingray. Just exact perfect spacing. So beautiful to see. He's so good at these blasters. His spacing is impeccable. Sandstorm's going to take that game, keep himself alive here as he fights back. As he kind of needed you, man, because it was looking a little rough for him for a second, but... Uh, yeah, he was able to fight his way back into this set. And hopefully, he's, and maybe he'll be able to fight his way deep into this set by getting back into, uh, by getting into a game five. Now again, we're going to Crystal Temple. Second to third time we've seen this today. Sidelight into side air from Sandstorm. Has a nice, healthy damage lead here. D-Light recovery not quite going to be enough, even with a little bit of raising into the air that you had from that soft platform. If Stingray would have been red, that might have KO'd. Oh, man, this damage is adding up. Okay. Damage is deep, and oh, pulls, pulls him out from under the, from the underworld, bro. Where you, where you going? Out of here. And so now Sandstorm... Very solidly here, only in the yellow. What a uh, what a what a turnaround from these first few games. Ooh, side sick, almost KOing in orange. Let's see if Stingray can find. He has the axe in his hand. Maybe he's gonna look for a D sig. Maybe he'll just look for a side light side air. It's a side light nair. Went for the side air. Spot dodge comes out from Sandstorm. More damage coming out. Ooh, nice four hit. Ooh, he even gets the side signature. Oh, is that it? That's it. Oh my gosh, just that. completely takes away that stock. Was that like 20 seconds? Maybe less? Yeah, this is looking like it's going to a game five, folks. For sure, with the way the Sandstorm is playing. I mean, straight up dominance. Whatever. I don't know. Like, his uh, adaption is like so good. Like, he just, every time, he's just there. Like, he may get body for the first game, and then by the third game, he is the one doing the body. It's like every trick that you had, like, he knows now. And it's so crazy that it's happened now twice today, where he's gone 0-2 and then all of a sudden turned it around on game three, four, and five. It's happened twice today alone. Oh, I'm throwing out six, but. Is there. I think Sandstorm might have expected maybe a dash jump there. I'm gonna drag him off. Don't know if that's gonna be enough yet, but. And still not gonna be enough. However, at least I was able to get uh, Sandstorm to relinquish that weapon. So, just like that, we're back into it. Sandstorm still uh still got the lead, but gotta find himself a weapon. Getting that weapon started quite well. You can. Oh, okay, I like that. And we're gonna go ahead and get that second weapon as well. Sandstorm is trying to get himself. Uh, well, try to get himself into this game five, but finally find himself a weapon. Gets his blasters as well. Is that going to be enough? Not enough yet, but we'll not be able to eat another one of those for sure. Okay. Possibility is still here for Stingray to take this. D-Light recovery. He's done. Not anymore. And Sandstorm is going to take game four. You're exactly right. Moving on into game five. The band's coming out very quickly. Small Brawl, Small Enigma, and Crystal Temple. Sandstorm wants to go to Crystal Temple. Now, I don't necessarily, if I was Sandstorm and I'm hitting those insigs so well, going to Crystal Temple is probably a good idea. You want to sit on those soft platforms? Insig's going to reach up perfect. All right, man. We're going to see if that's exactly what uh, works out for him, though. As we get into our game five, Sandstorm, great uh, adjustments from uh, from game three on. Now he's got to a game five and 
very much into his, uh, like, I guess his momentum. His way. It's now up to Taros, aka, so I say Snowy, my bad, uh, Stingray, to go ahead and, like, close this set out. Like, he already had the first two points on, uh, on the set, but unfortunately was not able to get that third one yet. It looks like Sandstorm will be working his way toward that a little faster. Solid lead here, though. Got him in the red. And he is playing Taros. Honestly surprised I didn't send him a little bit further. I don't think that would have... Yeah. I didn't expect that to kill. But I would have expected him to be off screen. Oh, no. Whiffs the punish on the side signature. Stomp goes Ooh, for the okay. dare. Even turns around the dare to get the hitbox that starts behind you first. Wise move from Stingray just in case to confirm the KO. That's a nice lead here. Maybe about 120 damage on the stock. So it's not even red yet. Neutral light coming out. Gonna put big double digit damage out on the Sandstorm. Has him in the yellow, already 50 on this stock. Yeah, he is swinging right now, though. Okay, finally gets back on the stage. All right, Sandstorm. Gotta figure out a way to get the stock off sooner than later. He doesn't get too crazy with the stakes here. We have seen him kind of throw out some, some uh, I'll say some Randy ones, but some uh, instant call out. We'll put it that way. Either way, he finds the uh, finds the the B and B right there with the down light to the recovery, keeping this game close. Got a uh, slight yellow into a fresh white, but it's a little damage there. Yeah, if I'm Sandstorm right now, I'm not super worried. Doesn't have too much damage on the second stock. Only about a Virgil on it, and he's finding this damage on the Stingray too. There's a side light into the dare, and I was for sure he's gonna awesome. throw that weapon away. Uh, yep. A little earlier, just throw it down at, at Sandstorm, start itself uh, a little bit of that, like, Edgar potential. But now decides to get back to stage first, finds himself the, uh, the axe. Ooh, Ooh that's wow. huge. Now Stingray yeah, has a solid big. lead on his second stock, too. This is on the first stock. It's not as big. It's still pretty solid and very solid, but not as solid as having it while Sandstorm's on his final stock and Stingray's on his second. Nice neutral light. Good way to start this final stock out from Sandstorm. He's going to look for another one. No, goes for the dare. Floating quite a bit now. Eats a side air. Sandstorm going really high. Nice punish there from the side air. Stingray hitting the neutral air. Just kind of poking back and forth. Hey, okay. like he was definitely dancing for a little bit. Here we go. Okay, there's a slide over that good stuff to Sandstorm, uh, or to um, Stingray actually, as he was able to get at least avoid a, a KO on the right side without avoid a KO on the left. But he does have a lead again, but it isn't as strong as the lead as you know we've been seeing against Sandstorm. Sandstorm's usually in the red around this point, and uh, he's only in the orange. He was just in the yellow. Stingray just has to keep this, uh, play this one pretty close to the chest. Stingray has to be really careful about his dodges because he's he dodged bad before that led to the KO from Sandstorm, and then he just dodged back in, and Sandstorm almost picked up the recovery, which would have put Stingray in a really bad spot in yellow. So he's going to have to be really careful about his dodges. He's dodging back in a lot. There was a dodge down back towards Sandstorm. Oh, oh man. He's it. Not having enough frames to connect with Sandstorm. That might have led to the KO. There's a D-Light almost sitting off the screen. Has the hammer. So many moves are going to KO. The weapon toss going over Sandstorm's head. Stingray, he backs up. Sandstorm hits the weapon, throws it away. In comes the blasters. Oh, this is that so was a close. Garrison. to the left. Oh, man. Stays so brutal. I, we, we that go, that was a guaranteed ground pound. Oh, this is so... So scary for both players. The big stuck. Stingray takes it. Game five, taking down Sandstorm, the two-time 1v1 world champion. He's crazy. Stingray keeping to his word. Bro, I was a little afraid at first because I did see Stingray uh, drop that K on the left side. When Sandstorm had to air dodge directly to the, the edge, that was immediate. He had no other options. That was immediate ground pound right there. But no, he backed off, and I was like, oh, no, please don't let this cost him the game. But luckily, he was able to find himself a Sair to the side, uh, to the right side, and go ahead and take it, take the game, man. Good stuff to Stingray. As you say, beating the two-time world champion. Got to feel good.